it's like easier. The bar's set really low for anyone who I date in the future to come in and be like a great guy. So you can either recognize it and embrace it or you can deny it and pretend it's not happening. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care that you have tattoos. I don't care that you have a, a gap between your teeth. Like, I love you for who you are. I'm having more fun during this time of my life than I've ever had before. Le I've legitimately never been happier. <laughs> I'll be like, how? Oh, you exist? <laughs> Taylor Swift recently opened up in a candid interview about her relationship with Travis. Known for keeping her love life private, Taylor has typically stayed tight-lipped about her romantic endeavors out of respect for her exes. However, with Travis, it's a different story. In the interview, Taylor couldn't contain her joy, gushing about Travis and breaking her usual silence. It's evident that she's smitten and thoroughly enjoying every moment of their romance. Fans are thrilled to finally hear about Taylor's relationship straight from the source, after months of speculation fueled by gossip and paparazzi photos. From cheering on Travis Kelsey at Chiefs games to sharing intimate moments. Taylor is now sharing the details of their love story with her fans, and before she could go into how obsessed she is with her newbie she started by giving us some inside info on how it all kicked off, this all all started when Travis very adorably put me on blast on his podcast which I thought was metal as hell we started hanging out right after that. For those of you who don't know she's here referring to the episode of Kelsey's New Heights podcast that aired in July, in which Kelsey very openly and unapologetically started talking about how he tried his best to get the singer's attention by making a cute friendship bracelet for the July 9th Eras Tour show. Now mind you he wasn't just bluffing us the man actually did attend the one at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. One person shared a cute clip of the time and said remember when Travis had everyone at TE camp trading friendship bracelets a week before he ever went to the concert and tried meeting Taylor. So it's my third year here at Tight End U. I'm trying to make it more special every single year that we do this. thought what better way than to welcome the guys with friendship bracelets. Uh, take a page out of Taylor Swift's book. I just hope somebody has one for me. I'm a rookie here at Tight End U trying to make some friends, so I'm passing on some friendship bracelets. for Travis. Handmade. I got a gift for you. Did you make this for me? Oh. <laughs> 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 so we actually had a significant amount of time that no one knew which I'm grateful for because we got to get to know each other by the time I went to that first game we were a couple I think some people think that they saw our first date at that game we would never be psychotic enough to hard launch a first date, she continued and in one of her first in-death interviews in four years, Kelsey joked at the time about being but hurt because Swift doesn't chat with anyone before or after her shows. To protect her voice, she doesn't meet anybody or at least she didn't want to meet me so I took it personally, he teased on the podcast. But hey they did eventually meet up and Swift spilled the beans on how they've been there for each other ever since she's been to like six Chiefs games and Kelsey even jetted off to Buenos Series on a week just to catch another one of her gigs. When you say a relationship is public that means I'm going to see him do what he loves we're showing up for each other other people are there and we don't care, she explained in her first real talk about their relationship, the opposite of that is you have to go to an extreme amount of effort to make sure no one knows that you're seeing someone and we're just proud of each other. Sounds like they've got each other's backs no matter what and then there's those shots of them in the suite. That always seemed to pop up during NFL broadcast Swift confessed she's totally clueless about how those camera operators even know where she's sitting, there's a camera like a half mile away and you don't know where it is and you have no idea when the camera is putting you in the broadcast so I don't know if I'm being shown 17 times or once. She admitted about the now famous footage of her chilling with Kelsey's mom and KCQB Patrick Mahomes' wife Brittany. I'm just there to support Travis I have no awareness of if I'm being shown too much and pissing off a few dads brads and chads football is awesome it turns out I've been missing out my whole life, classic Taylor always keeping it real, but it's not just Taylor who's doing all the talking about Travis, the guy's got some serious admiration for her too and he's not shy about showing it, Travis reciprocates that energy always gushing about Taylor and how proud he is of her, in interviews and on social media he's been vocal about his love and support for her, whether it's praising her talent cheering her on at concerts or just being there for her, Travis makes it clear that he's her biggest fan. And when asked about their relationship he's quick to share how much she means to him and how grateful he is to have her by his side, Travis Kelsey playfully shared some wisdom he gained from being around Taylor Swift, don't try and be Taylor that's what I learned, he joked acknowledging her unmatched talent, yes yeah, she's on a whole other stratosphere she's the best at what she does for a reason, it's because she's so articulate and just very dialed into to every single thing that she does. And that's the beauty of it, I'd be silly if I ever tried to take anything from what she does other than just enjoy the people that show up I think that's one thing I could probably take away she really relates to the people she's performing in front of and so I'll take that. You can practically hear the hard eyes through the screen, in another interview for the cover of Wall Street Journal, 
Magazine's December-January issue Kelsey gave us a peek into the beginnings of his relationship with Swift and how it's evolved over time initially hesitant to dive deep into the details Kelsey couldn't help but add some color to the story of how they first connected after his failed attempt to meet her at the Eras tour. There were definitely people she knew that knew who I was in her corner who said yo did you know he was coming I had somebody playing Cupid, Kelsey spilled to the outlet he went on to describe how Swift eventually reached out to him saying, she told me exactly what was going on and how I got lucky enough to get her to reach out. It's like something straight out of a rom-com Kelsey shared that their first official meetup happened in New York City after they had already been chatting, when I met her in New York we had already kind of been talking so I knew we could have a nice dinner and like a conversation and what goes from there, we'll go from there he revealed being with Swift he explained is a whole different experience for him. I've never dated did anyone with that kind of aura about them he admitted I've never dealt with it but at the same time I'm not running away from any of it the scrutiny she gets how much she has a magnifying glass on her every single day paparazzi outside her house outside every restaurant she goes to after every flight she gets off and she's just living enjoying life when she acts like that I better not be the one acting all strange. It's clear Kelsey admires her ability to stay ground rounded. Despite the constant attention, Kelsey opened up about how spending time with Swift has been a real eye-opener for him. I've never been a man of words he confessed being around her seeing how smart Taylor is has been mind-blowing I'm learning every day. It's clear that Swift's intelligence and presence have left a lasting impression on him, sparking a desire to grow and learn alongside her and fans absolutely love the small things he does for her. One person recently shared an adorable clip on X and wrote Travis being the gentleman he is holding the door for Taylor so she can just walk and look extremely hot doing so. And another added they have three other people with them who could easily hold the door open for both of them but Travis still makes sure he's the one holding it open for Taylor. One more person said honestly my favorite thing about Travis is he makes her feel safe enough to be just Taylor again. These two also attended a gala recently where Travis referred to Swift as his significant other and people couldn't get enough of it. I think um... I was just talking to my significant other and uh... One person wrote Taylor going to the gala with Travis and referring to her as his significant other and her giving him ice tour tickets to auction off their so M word. So what do you think comment down below and let us know if you like this video click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video.